Divine Masculine, it's time for you to honor your feelings and embrace the flow of life. What do you need to let go of that's keeping you from having the life that you desire? There's also some crown chakra activations and some heart chakra activations that's taking place. So keep your heart open, all right? I did pull my moon cards and I get the full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. And I get first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Crown chakra activations. And full moon in Taurus. Detoxify. So there's definitely something that you need to let go of. Maybe trying to con control the flow of life. Maybe not honoring your feelings and speaking them, trying to push them down and keep them in. And then what's underneath the deck is uh, first quarter moon and Libra, keep your heart open. So there's definitely crown chakra activations and heart chakra activations that's taken place. So I changed my oracle cards and I'm using the rose oracle. I don't want to show you guys the rose oracle. I love Rebecca Campbell, she's one of my favorites. I get rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. Lineage of the Rose, move, Rose, move by goddess, here for this, so call, gather. And then I get codes of the seeds, blueprint is within you, take the next step. And then what's underneath the deck? Surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. So let's see. What is the past lesson Divine Masculine is working through at this moment, please? What is the past lesson Divine Masculine is working through at this moment? Higher heart awakening. Already marrying Divine Feminine? Present area focus for Divine Masculine, please. Merkaba activation, ground shield, and protect. So call in 222. Call in Archangel Metatron to uh, go through that process of having your Merkaba activated and allow for any energetic clearing that needs to take place with Metatron. Future resolution for Divine Masculine, please. The Holy Grail. Receive. Receive the gift. Surrender to the mastery. Fall into her arms. Allow for the higher heart opening to take place. Um, what's going to bring balance to inner self? Heal abandonment. Time to forgive. Okay. So, as this higher heart chakra awakening that's taken place... It's triggering abandonment wounds. This is what you need to let go of. There's some fears coming up that's triggering this abandonment wound. This could be connected to a mother wound. So, Helen, the mother line. The only way through it is to feel it. What's going to help you to move forward faster? Divine masculine divine creativity receiving the cosmic intelligence <laughs> call in missing soul fragments connected to this mother wound call in the missing soul pieces so the ancient knowledge okay can be rejoined back with you you need that cosmic blueprint in order to have the keys and the knowledge and the know-how, the memory, okay, to be able to work through this. Possible solutions and outcomes for Divine Masculine, please. Possible solutions and outcomes for Divine Masculine. Enter the vortex, aligning with abundance. So when you do this, that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? And um, it's going to get you exactly where you need to be. So let's see. What is this abandonment wound that Divine Masculine needs to forgive? Tell me more about this abandonment wound, please. Okay, there could be a choice. Hmm. 
So this person is triggering an abandonment wound. Um, in the end, you're going to have to make the choice to walk towards them in order for you to be able to heal this wound. Okay, so I get the Six of Cups with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Cups with the King of Cups, okay? So once you heal this abandonment wound and you make the decision to walk towards um, this person, that's when you're going to be able to work on receiving the gift, the Hope 555, the Holy Grail, all right? I love you guys. I hope these messages find you well, and we'll talk very soon.